生在马来西亚这个热带雨林国度的我们，可能对猴子已经司空见惯。便不用走进森林，我们也能够在海边、寺庙，甚至我们居住的地方看到他们的踪影。于是我们不会认为猴子有保育的必要。实际上，我们平时看到的猴子，有的已经列入国际自然保护联盟濒危物种红色名录，当中就包括臀尾猕猴。臀尾猕猴无论从外表和毛色观察，都跟平日看到的猴子没有什么差别，怎么看也不觉得稀奇。来自德国，在我国生活将近二十年的灵长类动物学家 Nadine Rupert 指出，臀尾猕猴最大的特色在于它们的尾巴。Macaca nemestrina, or the southern pigtail macaque, is a primate or monkey species that's medium, large in size. So the, the males they are pretty big and sturdy, and the females they can be smaller. Uh, they are brownish in color, and they are character, characterized by their pigtail. So this is how they got the name pigtail macaques because they have a short, bent tail, which distinguishes them from the um, Long-tail macaques, the kura, the monkeys that we usually see very often in Malaysia. So Macaca nemestrina is listed as vulnerable by the IUCN. It means that they are threatened. It's a threatened primate species, and largely um, they suffer from habitat loss. So because many um, parts of forests in Malaysia are under threat, these primates are losing their prime habitat, and their numbers are basically declining in Malaysia. 他透露，马来西亚约有二十五种非人类灵长类动物，是全球最多灵长类动物的国家之一。可惜国人普遍认识的物种屈指可数，臀尾猕猴就是经常被忽略的其中一种。而这一现象促使他成立了臀尾猕猴计划。The Macaca Nemestrina project is a research and conservation project about southern pigtail macaques, um, macaque species that is quite common in Malaysia. And I initiated this research project um, in 2010 as part of my PhD project with uh, University of Science Malaysia. And basically we're trying to find out more about the species because there's very limited data. So we are um, following wild macaques in the forest and also oil palm plantations and study their daily life and activities. And we are trying to find out about their behavior, their social behavior, um, their function in the ecosystem. The southern pigtail macaque or burog in Malay, they are found all over Peninsula Malaysia, but also on Borneo and in Sumatra. And they can be found in many different forest types, in uh, primary and secondary forests in Malaysia, and also in oil palm plantations when these plantations are near to the forest. 深入各地观察臀尾猕猴的他发现，很多人对于臀尾猕猴都有着负面的印象，认为这些猴子干扰了他们的日常生活。其实，猴子干扰人类的生活的起因，往往源自人类先干扰了他们的生活。我们让他们丧失了栖息地，也让他们丧失了觅食的天性。Sometimes people think that, um, especially when they see macaques in urban areas, that these macaques don't have enough food because maybe there's not enough forest left. And they are compassionate. These people then think they do something good by feeding wildlife or feeding macaques in particular. But this is actually a very uh, bad thing to do because it leads to behavioral changes. So the monkeys, they just lose their natural foraging instinct. So what you're also inducing is, is changes in terms of their, um, their way how they behave towards humans and they become maybe more aggressive. They try to steal your food, they might invade spaces, they come too close to your house, they go through your garbage. 由宗种植的大规模扩张，是让臀尾猕猴的栖息地逐渐缩窄、丧失的原因之一。为了适应生存环境的转变，这些猕猴只好闯入游宗园之宗果，所以臀尾猕猴一直被园主视为有害动物。不过 ，Nadine Rupert 在游宗园做臀尾猕猴的研究时发现，这些猴群其实也能为游宗园主除患。
they're social animals, meaning they're living in um, large groups of up to maybe 50 individuals of adult females and males, and they're juveniles. And together they um, forage for different kinds of foods, so mostly they eat on fruits. What we found in our study, which is quite interesting, they're eating a large number of rats in plantations, and this has um, yeah, this has led to the study um, on their role as biological pest control in oil palm plantations. When we talk um, about the function as biological, biological pest control in oil palm, we can engage the oil palm farmers or stakeholders of the oil palm industry um, to talk more about uh, conserving these primates in landscapes where there's forests and also oil palm plantations because when these primates are allowed to go into plantations they feed on rats and so they reduce the number of rats who are actually the pest, the main pest species in plantations and benefit the farmers. So I hope that through um, more education and outreach that we are doing that people get aware about the very important role of these primates, not just in the forest ecosystem as seed dispersers, but also in agricultural landscapes as biological pest control. 新冠疫情的爆发差点让他们的研究计划中断。The Habitat 基金会颁发给他的研究基金，无疑是雪中送炭。The Habitat Foundation's uh, grant that was given to the Macaca Nemestrina project, it has been truly um, a blessing because ever since the pandemic, um, the funding opportunities and also the volunteers who helped me to um, sustain the project before COVID happened has been running out. And so the Habitat Foundation grant has helped a lot last year to keep us basically over the water. <laughs> so the Habitat Foundation has funded a project under the Macaca Nemestrino project that is dealing with the um, effects of the management of plantations on the health of macaques. So particularly we want to find out whether pesticides that are used in oil palm plantations negatively affect um, the health and fitness of ma uh, macaques who are foraging in these plantations. The Macaca Nemestrina project, which is based in Sigari, Pera, is conducting really innovative work to better understand the ecology of this species. The findings are unique and remarkable in that they demonstrate that pigtail macaques are not necessarily pests and actually they can be a biological control. And the aim of this work is also to help people understand how to live peacefully with pigtail macaques. Nadi Rupert 成立的吞尾猕猴计划，除了让国人重新认识吞尾猕猴，后续的研究还延伸出人猴冲突的解决方案。倘若如中原主采纳这些方案，不仅能够环保的控制鼠患，还能为这些吞尾猕猴撑起保护伞。前线视窗采访报道。